Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the shortwave antenna. Uh, this one is custom built in USA. I got that off eBay and there are a couple vendors that sell you those stick antenna, how they call it. Uh, what it is, basically it's a PVC or plastic pipe uh, that has two uh, end pieces on it so those are glued on this is the lower part where the cable comes out the it's a bit a long part the other part is simply the top part that is glued on top there then it has a certain length of the cable that comes out and at the end we have the gate door clip that you can clip that either on the antenna or on the antenna inlet to the radio. The idea about those stick antennas is that if you live in a place where they would complain if they see uh, a regular antenna, something that looks like what uh, typical people would would uh, suspect this antenna that they maybe get afraid or uh, that they don't like to look at it or you know people nowadays they complain about everything so the idea about this stick antenna is that that is more covered up and still give you the reach of the short wave frequencies that you can listen uh, if possible in the night to further away stations all over the, the planet without having that look, that antenna look, uh, say on the balcony or or uh, on top of the garage or somewhere, somewhere in such places like that. You can also put that of course in the garden uh, as well. There, there is uh, different ways you can set that up. Uh, the main idea is that that's not going to look like an antenna, so the people not even, usually they not even recognize that as an antenna. So they hopefully leave you alone. Uh, so what it is inside is a cable that is curled up uh, in a, quite some curls. Uh, this one I'm going to take apart simply to see how it actually looks inside. Uh, I'm gonna heat up the, the glued uh, top end and then look inside how that how that uh, looks exactly in there. Uh, quite likely for the price paid on uh, those items, it's for the usual people not needed to make their own. Uh, of course, you can if you want, and uh, maybe you need to have a, a specific length for your. For your needs and all that so that that would make sense uh, for me I simply gonna look how that looks inside for learn how such a item could be uh, the color of this pipe of this PVC plastic pipe is white so in some parts that may blend in really well uh, here of course not in the middle of the forest uh, I gonna paint that in a olive green so it will blend in way better. There is like in the mounting you need to watch that that is not mounted near or with metal. So uh, paint that has metal flakes in it uh, would ruin the antenna. Then you would not get the, the signals that you quite likely want. Also you should not uh, mount it with metal parts say on a wood post or something that should be all done without using metal to get the best uh, effects out of that compact short antenna of course this would work also for travel uh, if you gonna put the wire a bit in a in a bag or in a container that it is uh, less likely gonna gonna get damaged that would work really well for transport for on the road as well without setting up a really big antenna if it needs to be quick and easy so all in all it's a great idea 
if I remember the times back in Switzerland what we had for antenna that was never as creative or as good as we could have it now in USA and uh, it's an interesting variety to play with to, to try out those stick antenna and you can of course customize it how you want with the mounting and test out different places how to uh, mount it just always away from the metal and also of course the, the coloring uh, depending on what what kind of color is is uh, where you're gonna mount that so it blends in even even more uh, on some houses where you're gonna mount that maybe the white color of this plastic will already be pretty good quite likely also for save the the price on painting it the seller that did make that item quite likely just let it in the white and finish so that everybody can select their own coloring then afterwards to adapt it to the situation uh, one thing more is about lightning as the radio is not in use or if you have a star uh, a strong uh, rain with lightning and all that possibilities uh, take it off the radio unhook it uh, that should be common sense I'm just saying I would not leave it on there possibility that your radio equipment get damaged is too big so that much about that nice idea of a stick antenna for shortwave and other radio